Welcome to our channel once again my friends, Real Nice Guyana, home of traditional Guyanese recipes. Today we're going to be doing veggie chow mein. So as you know, uh, Hindus and, and others, they have fasting days, you're not uh, supposed to eat meat and fish and so on. I can remember back in the days we used to get baigan and rice, you know, balanje without anything, without shrimps or chicken or whatever. Just plain balanje and rice and sometimes you know that don't really work real nice. So this here is one of the alternative to fry baigan and rice. So delicious chow mein and you have now these days you have chow mein being made without eggs. And this one here that we like to use which is the champion chow mein. There is no eggs as you can see on the packet there. No eggs, no MSG. And this is really delicious the way we cook it with only vegetables. So that's what we're going to be making for you guys today. And for this we have our, we're going to be using one pack of the chow mein which is 12 ounces as you can see there. We're going to be using some bell peppers of course you want to nice up the dish. You want to make it look lovely, presentable as you know people eat with their eyes first. Uh, we're going to be using some chow mein seasoning of course, some bora, celery, onions, garlic, pepper, scallions. We're going to be using some casrip of course for color and black pepper and salt of course it is. So that's about the ingredients guys that you're going to see how what a lovely dish you're going to make um, to have in place of your your balanje and rice which I know a lot of you hate. So let's get started with this recipe guys. So first things first we've put our water to boil our noodles to heat up and in the meantime we're going to go cut up our stuff that we have to cut up. So we're going to start with a bora. So for this you want nice green boras, crunchy boras, like this one. So you can also add carrots to this chow mein if you like, but we don't have any today so we're not going to add any. So these are okay sizes, so as you see we are cutting here. And I'm telling you guys, the way we cook this chow mein, it is delicious. You don't even miss the chicken. No kidding. You have to try this recipe. I thought we did this recipe, but we didn't when I checked. So I decided we should, we have to do this. So we're gonna put that aside, that's ready. So that's our broadleaf thing. And this is also called Pudina as you guys know. Now for the onion. So as I was saying guys, this chow mein is so delicious, you won't need anything to go with it. No fried fish, no fried chicken, no chicken inside. So our water is boiling, so we're gonna add our chow mein now. So we're using the one pack as I said. We're going to add a bit of salt to this. So now we're going to leave this to boil. So this is the garlic, now we're going to pong this. So our chow mein is boiling away. Alright my friends, our noodles finished boiling. And that's what it looks like. They're not too soft. So 
So you want to run some cold water on your noodles right away after straining it to prevent it from water cooking and getting soft. If you don't run the cold water on it, it'll continue cooking and get too soft. So now we're going to wait for our noodles to drain and cool off a bit before we can do anything further. So we're going to add some oil here to heat up for our vegetables now. So our chow mein is draining in our screen in here as you can see until we are ready for it. So we're going to turn it up a bit, get it to air out. Our oil is hot so we can add our onions there first. So we're going to fry this up a bit first, the onions. So this here is building up flavors for your chow mein. Your chow mein is going to taste nice, nice, nice. So next we're going to add the harder stuff, the bell peppers. And the border of course. Add some black pepper, salt to taste, and now some chow mein seasoning. Uh, that's smelling nice already. Look at that, lovely. So this is coming along nicely. And as you see, we haven't added our scallions, celery, and broad leaf thyme and peppers yet. That's still there. So here we're going to make a little bit of sauce with our casserip. And some water. So we're gonna add that casserole from water mixture now. And this is gonna help to make a wet noodle. So now we're gonna add the scallions, the celery, and garlic, leaf thyme, and the pepper. So those don't, don't need to be cooked for long, so that's why you throw them in at last. And now for our garlic. And that's about everything in there, all the seasonings. So now we're going to add the noodles, which was raining all the time. So there you go, you see how delicious that is looking? And I'm assuring you it's going to taste as good as it looks. You have to give this recipe a try. This tastes as good as chicken chow mein. No kidding. A little bit more of chow mein seasoning. So you're going to adjust your salt. Look at how yummy that is looking guys and look at the color in there. And that's it for our veggie chow mein there guys. As you can see it's looking yummy.
yummy delicious so that's it for this recipe guys if you like the video please remember to give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do please click on the bell icon so you get notifications from us whenever we post new videos please share this video also and as always thanks for watching take care bye